Hi, it's Terry McCormick from the Star Morning Show, and I'm here with another brand new Star 104.5 Teacher of the Week. She's Mrs. Lisa Guinan. She's a kindergarten teacher at St. Vincent de Paul. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? It's wonderful to meet you. We received a wonderful letter from one of the uh, parents of one of your students, so I thought I'd start off by reading a little bit of that to you, okay? Okay. It says, Mrs. Guinan has a heart of gold. She is so kind. She goes above and beyond every day. The students absolutely love her. She makes learning fun every day for each student. She is a fabulous teacher and she goes the extra mile and her door is always open. We are very blessed to have her teaching our young children. So there you go. That is so nice. Thank yes. You. So you've been teaching a while now. How long did you say you've been teaching? So this would be my 28th year. So I taught first grade for a year and then I've done kindergarten ever since. All right. So kindergarten, young minds like this parent said, what do you think the biggest challenge is being a kindergarten teacher? Because this is from a lot of these kids, unless they went to preschool, kind of their first time away from home and in a classroom. So what do you find, Mrs. Guinan, is the biggest challenge? You know, I think uh, the biggest challenge for kindergarten is the kids come in with uh, all different backgrounds. Some have gone to preschool before, some have stayed home with their parents. They come in with all different ability, ability levels. So some of them come in reading, some of them don't know many letters of the alphabet. So I think the biggest challenge is that they come in at all different um, levels. And so kind of taking them from where they're at um, and, and, and moving forward, so. Yeah, I never thought about that, but you're right. They would be at all different levels coming in. So let me flip that over and ask you, like what has been something that's kind of been on the bright side, surprising you didn't expect being a kindergarten teacher that's just so much fun? You know, I think um, just every day that they come in, I mean, there's so many kids who, they're just so excited and eager to learn. And so it's just those little aha moments that the light bulb turns on and you just feel like, okay, I've, I've accomplished something for today and, and they've learned something new, so. Yeah. I, I suppose, because I hear that from a lot of teachers, that light bulb moment, it's got to be so gratifying for you when they finally connect the dots that way. Yes. All yes. right. All right. So I want to ask you a few get to know you questions, Mrs. Guinan. The first one is, are you a dog or a cat person? You know, if I had to pick one, it would probably be a dog, but we have a guinea pig at my house. Oh, so. okay. Uh, guinea pig grandma. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my daughter had a guinea pig growing up too. She, it was really cute, cute guinea pig. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your favorite cookie? <laughs> oh, you know, I would have to say Potbelly has the brownie chocolate chip cookies. Ooh. Those are my That sounds Those good. Would be my favorite. Yes. All right, and fi uh, finally, I wanted to ask you if um, there's any special place here in Omaha that's your favorite to go to with your family or your friends. Well, um, you know, we, my family, we just like to enjoy going out to eat and we like to try new places. And um, Omaha has so many great restaurants and they're unique. And so, so it's just kind of fun to try to try different places. It is, and I when I first moved here, everyone was saying it's a great foodie town. If you love food, it Omaha is. So I would agree with you on that. So my final question to you, Mrs. Guinan, is what do you love most about teaching? You know, I think I think kindergarten is such a unique grade, and they come in, like I said, at all different levels and you see so I get to see so much growth from the first day of school when they walk into the classroom to the last day of school and I think that's probably the best part is just seeing how much they've grown and and not just academically but also socially you know the kids are learning um, to relate to others and how to get along with others and you just you see them mature 
and um, by the end of the year, it's just fun to see how far they've come. Let me ask you this, um, since you've been teaching 28 years, do you ever have like adult children you taught, you know, back come and see you with their own children? You know what, actually we are just kind of in the last year or two starting to see kids that have graduated from here um, come in with their own kids. I have not had any of my own uh, mm -hmm. students return with their kids, but, but kids that have gone to school here. And so, yeah. It, it reminds me that I've been doing this for a very long time. <laughs> That's also got to be really gratifying too. So, but we want to thank you, Mrs. Guinan, for being such a great role model over those 28 years and the impressions you make on those young minds. And you're a hero to us, teachers are, for all that they do, especially the past few years with all the things you've had to juggle. So congratulations on being our Teacher of the Week. And you mentioned um, that you like to go out to different places to eat with your family, but Zio's is going to give you a gift card to go out and have some pizza with your family. And then Regal, Regal Awards has given us this for you, our Star 104.5 Teacher of the Week Awards, which uh, you can display wherever you like. And uh, just a reminder of what a great teacher you are. There we go, Teacher of the Week. <laughs> Thank you very much. So thank they you. will enjoy. <laughs> so thank you for taking the time to talk to me. And again, congratulations. And thank you for all you do, Mrs. Guinan. Thank you.